Welcome to another edition of Let's Play. I am your host, the RPG Guy, and today we will be tackling a point-and-click adventure game called Conquest of the Longbow, The Adventures of Robin Hood. Some of you have seen me play point-and-click adventures in the past. If you watch my live stream, I do a bunch of the older, rarer ones that are not as common. I, I've done King's Quest, but I've done a couple of others, too, that are not very common, and this is definitely not one of them, but it's just one of my favorite. Uh, Conquest of the Longbow, The Adventures of Robin Hood is very much in the style of King's Quest games, but it's Robin Hood, and it's his story. And better than that, it's the more ethereal fantasy part of the Robin Hood story. Druidic, magic, evil cults, um, the whole nine yards. And it covers more about the fantasy idea of Robin Hood as opposed to, and the, you know, the legends of Robin Hood as opposed to the historical accuracy of the Robin Hood character. Um, it's a decent game. It's definitely not a game you could just pick up and play like other King's Quest games um, because you have to have the manual to actually beat this game or use a guide or something, whatever floats your fucking boat. But uh, much like King's Quest games, um, everything's kind of set in a certain way and whatnot. And I think that this is a really neat interpretation of the Robin Hood story. If you've seen me play like Lighthouse of Dark Bing or if you were around when I had the Real Mist LP up, which I'm going to redo and put up a newer version of it, uh, at some point, I'm usually pretty good at these games. I love these games. Um, they are definitely a great pastime, and they should be played more often. So let's get started with Conquest of the Longbow, The Adventures of Robin Hood. For those of you wondering why I stutter a little bit when I say the title, is because as a kid I used to call it Robin Hood uh, Conquest of the Longbow, because there was a couple of different variable Robin Hood games. But in my opinion, this is one of the best Robin Hood games um, out there. And I do stand by that. For a character who's kind of gotten gypped on Robin Hood games, um, there's a Steam version of Robin Hood that kind of plays similar to this, but it's not very good. Um, and I've played through it several times and I could not enjoy it. Um, but I, you know, Sierra was a fun company to, to make a lot of these games, that made a lot of these games, and I was a fan of Police Quest for a while. I liked uh, Hero... Uh, Hero Quest. I love Hero Quest. I like uh, King's Quest, you know, 1, 2, 5, 6. 7's okay. I wasn't as big on 7 as some of the others. Kind of lost, kind of went a little overboard for me in the silly department. But I, they're still good, solid games. And a new King Quest came out, I think, last year. And uh, it's doing moderately well. It's a five-parter King's Quest. And maybe we'll tackle that too, but... You know, these old point-and-click adventures are always, always a lot of fun to pull out. And, uh, you don't, you don't see them played as often, which is a shame. And whatnot. So, the introduction after the credits will actually give us some backstory here to what's going on. For those of you who may not be familiar with Robin Hood and his plight, um, he sum, sums it up in a song, which I will not sing. I actually tried singing it, and then I listened back to it in the recording, and I was like... Yeah, I ain't fucking singing it. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely one of the better Sierra point-and-click games, in my opinion. Much more intricate than some of the King's Quest games. In the year of our most gracious lord, 1193, good King Richard the Lionheart sailed across the sea. I'll read it like poetry. The infidels he had besieged, but Jerusalem was lost. Bloody was the Third Crusade, dearly did it cost. Long and dangerous was the road, enemies on all sides. It's supposed to be a song, so, you know. Hidden by the night he rode, cloaked in a merchant's skies. There, that's all the singing you get. But in the realm of Austria, King Leopold did reign. He swore to capture Lionheart, or else to have him slain. Stab, 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 stab. Get that fool! Get him! Get him! Give me your wallet! Give it! Give me your wallet! Give me your wallet! Mighty Oast did Richard swear at the base, at this base treachery. I don't think he made many oaths. I think he just swore. They bound him like a roaring lion to face his enemy. Ugh. King Leopold was filled with glee to have so rich a prize. You don't say. His laughter filled the stony hall. 
His greed rose to the sky. Do like a William Shatner. One hundred thousand golden marks on Richard's head he laid. And Lionheart, his prisoner, until the ransom paid. <laughs> I have no fear, King Richard said. My people love me well. They got pornos of him all over Nottingham. They'll raise the ransom that you ask. And I'm your soul to hell. That part's worth singing. And when in England Prince John heard of his brother's golden fleece, he swore a dark and holy oath that he would ne'er go free. So the days have sorely passed, and Lionheart does wait. And no, clicking does not make this go faster, as Black Prince John and Treacherous Dogs conspire to seal his fate. While well, Robin Hood in Green Sherwood, an outlaw's life does lead, falsely charged by men corrupt to satisfy their greed. At your side, companions true, a bartender, ripped and strong and nude. I mean, Little John, that's right. And Alan Adale, the troubadour, who sings while he gets lots of whores, and Mooch the Miller's son. Hmm, interesting to know. Will Scarlet with his good Yubo. Friar Tuck to pray, amen. And bold Robin Hood to lead them all. And so we shall begin. <laughs> my, and then my head explodes. All right, so like many point-and-click adventures, you have a lot of things you can do. You can walk. You can see things. Um, you can grab things. I'm gonna grab my dick. I feel much the same as I did yesterday. Wow, Robin, Robin, I don't want to know about that. You can talk to yourself. <laughs> My aim seems a bit off because I tried to shoot myself. So there's a few things to note. Let's go ahead and grab some bling. Or some uh, some money. The Robin Hood Sherwood debit card. Proud sponsor of the Nottingham Olympics. Alright, so that's going to give us a score of 50. Every time we do a task in the game, we get points. This is the maximum points earned. These are the points that we're getting. Um, You know, only two times. I've played this game a lot. Uh, but only two times or three times have I ever actually gotten the max score because it's very, very easy to forget to do something very trivial. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. So I guess we've got our horn of horniness. With this horn, I can summon my men if need be. I have five pennies, 19 half pennies, and 26 farth farthings. Um, half pennies, obviously pennies, half pennies, and then farthings are a full penny. Or a full coin. Don't worry about it. Don't think too much of it. Morning. We've all broken off fast, but my hat tuck will share some of his fish with you. From the gaunt and starving look of our good friar, I feel you'll be left begging. I remember that, Gib, when it comes time to do at the street now. Mercy on me, Tuck, or I'll be too weak to play your favorite tunes. You know the old Norman saying, Alan, never make an enemy of the cook. I can see there's no point in hanging about here and listening to these two prattle. I'll be in the glade practicing. What of you, little John? I thought I'd head to the overlook and see if anyone of interest comes along Watland Street. Tuck says our treasurer could use a boosting. Is that true? Third to say it is, Robin. We're down but a few hundred max. Well, I'm off then. Join me there if you have a mind to. Win, 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 win. And off he goes. So we can talk to these two idiots if we want to, but we will choose to go north. In the sake of earning points. You don't have to do half of the stuff in the game. But if you want to get some free points, do you got you actually gotta participate in doing this. Do 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 do. Oh, Laura, Master Hood, a glorious day for the bow. 
I've set me golems for practice. Come and join us. This new lad here is Simon, and he has yet to sample you of your sk He has yet to see a sample of your skills. You want to see some skills, bitch? Let me show you how it's done. Check over to the left to see the uh, to see the uh, wind. Right now, it's going that way. To reload an arrow, you got to put it there. So it's way off to the left, to the back. Oh, Maester for short, Robin. So the further the target is away, the higher you kind of have to hold the bow. And obviously, if it's off centered, you got to kind of. The wind's blowing a different direction, you got to adjust. See? I over adjusted there. So that's at a. Fuck you, Will. So this one's a little further, but not as far. So we had a masterful shot. Dead center right there. That's considered dead center, I believe, in this game. So. Do one more round of shooting. Nice. No, I'm not aiming up high enough. See, as you can see, this two, two. See, that's not over enough. But you can see we did pretty good there. And obviously, the closer ones are easier to do. All right, we're done with that. And let's get our money out, because we can actually get some points. Um, you don't need to give him much. Usually, I, I usually do two pennies um, whenever I need to give, just to keep the number even. But, 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 no, I, I don't deserve. Come, lad, you're a member of our band now. Take the money. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, go fuck yourself. All right. <laughs> the nicest Robin Hood you'll ever know. Let's go ahead and uh, head s head south, kind of back towards um, back towards camp here. I don't believe uh, we can't fast travel. Let's just fast travel back to camp. There we go. You've wasted no time devouring that fish, I see. I find that a full belly greatly improves the magnitude of more pride and give me one more thing to give thanks for. Yeah. Chili peas and pepper and Okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and make our way west. Now we can make Robin go faster, um, but it actually speeds up a lot of things that go on, so I'd rather just leave the speed alone. We don't have to usually walk too much. And if I have to do a lot of walking, I will turn the speed on on the gameplay up. That way we don't have to sit through a lot of this slow walking. We don't have that far to go, so don't worry too much about it. As we make our way west. To the west! To the west, Sir Robin! Yeah, what do we got here? Glad you decided to come. I saw the sheriff's man up ahead. Up the road a while back. But I've a mind to go around to the widow's cottage and say hello to her sons before they leave Nottingham for Nottingham again. You might want to stay and watch for this fellow to return in case he's up to mischief. Thanks for the warning. Mayhap I'll stop by and see the widow myself later on. Should look that. So with the boys. Until later then. <laughs> I'm going to plow me that widow. Oh yeah. Two of her kids are mine. <laughs> La da da dee dee, la da da, la da dee dee da da. Hmm. Well, it's a glorious day. Ugh. Where's the beer when you need one? You know, maybe I will. Hey, we got here. Hello. Hello, lady. How's it going? Uh oh, this is the. This is what we heard. And obviously, he's doing bad touch. Okay, we don't like bad touch. He's doing bad touch. Stand fast. All right. Move his sword, or say, in the name of the Sheriff of Notre Dame. No, please, I've done nothing wrong. Don't let him take me, please. Release, release the woman. She's more a prisoner. Step aside, I say. You can try negotiating with him. Let the woman go. What's it to you? She's only a peasant. 
whom I've sworn to protect from scoundrels such as you. I've arrested her and she's coming with me. For what crime? Didn't pay her taxes. You've collected them thrice in one week. I'll just collect. I'll just collect. I don't keep track. But don't you worry, winch. I'll take payment in other than coin. Lusty swine, let her go. I'll arrest you for hindering in the sheriff's justice. Surrender yourself. Fuck you, bitch. Drive by Boeing, bitch. Who oh, bless you, sir? <laughs> to do your own my salvation. You've surely heard of the name Robin Hood. Robin Hood? Then it's true what they say of you. I shall never I shall be forever grateful. Avengers assemble What shall we do with this worthless carrion? I care not. Drag him away for the wolves and ravens. He's a fucking asshole. Bless you and all your men. I almost go now. Wait, bitch. Here's some wing. Wait! Accept this gift. Oh, oh, you are so kind. I will light candles in your name at mass. Bless you again. Tis my pleasure. Now shake that booty. Shake that booty. One more time. Alright, so we've saved the day. We've saved the, the fair uh, lady. She hurries down Watling Street as fast as her feet can carry her. And thus, fast as our feet can carry her, we will go to the widow. Ah, it's the good widow and her three fine sons. Hal Hob and <laughs> Dickon. Who would name their kid Dickon? Must have hated her kid to name him Dickon. Mother, it's Robin Hood. Good day to you. Tis good to see you again. If that tuck sent you to bother about the war. Nay, he said nothing about it. Good, I told him I'd have it soon enough. We're going to town today, master. Is there anything that you need? I think not today, lads, but be careful. If the sheriff ever suspects you of helping the outlaws of Sherwood, <laughs> he'll never catch us. We're listening around and hear all kinds of things. Dickon, you heed the man. He's wiser than you. No, mum. Don't worry, we'll keep the whip under control. Fear not, Dickon. If ever I need a spy, I'll think of you. Ah, touch me and I'll give you such a bleating. Oh boy, well, I guess there's no sheep fucking in this game. Alright, let's end the day. Each night after supper, as is our custom, we gather to speak to the day of the day's events. Should use that voice because it's really Robin narrating, kind of. Feel my mug again, Tuck. As with. As you wish, but what is you? I've never seen you so deep in your cup. Why, tis the ales that ails him, but ails well that ends well, and... Stop blithering, Alan. I too wonder what troubles you, Robin. A strange melancholy came upon me tonight, unbidden. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Perhaps the enemy is cast a spell on you. Shrive him, ta quickly, in case he should die in his sleep. Fair will... Fair will, Scarlet. Can't you find a way to cheer a man rather than fighting him? Uh, I know full well the nature of this melancholy, for we all feel it from time to time. I'm not good at dr being drunk. Tis that we're outlaws forced away from casing kin, living as we can in the forest. <laughs> Knowing death waits in an arrow's floor, oh, worse yet, a rope's might. Uh, good beer. A short life, but a merry one. That's the way of it. Hey, but don't you dream of living as a free man, able to walk him down with their fear, to love a woman knowing you could stay behind morn? Ah, oh, there's the nub of the matter. You need a good woman, Robin. I know this lass with you huge tracts of land that you can motorboat every day. She, she, she's got a wee bit of of, of uh, junk in her trunk, as they say, in East South Central London. Ellen, you said I could meet her. Then I drank to you good fortune much as for me. Oh, 
This is, I'm off to burn it. Let's uh, Which way was it? Uh, yeah. This is Potter. <laughs> Good night, lads. Harris is master hood to his bed and see you on the morrow. It's for shame, Robin. Already deep in drunken slumber. Well, it's not my job to pay nurse maid. I've delivered you to bed and that's the end of it. Go fuck yourself. I'm gonna get me some more mead. I'm gonna get laid. Cast adrift, floating, a song, a song upon the wind. Wind that rustles through leaves, calling me onward into a heart of trees. A woman as graceful as the willows which surround her, swaying to the music of the wind. You can dance, you can jive, having the time of my life. See that girl, watch that scene, she is the dancing queen. Do -do 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 oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna spin, 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 spin. Oh, wait, I'm gonna spin tomorrow. Woo! Some of you might wonder why is she dancing so slowly? Well, she is very top heavy. And that momentum might actually, if she spins too fast, she might fall over and, and, and break, a break her neck. So she has to dance very carefully. Oh, fuck! She's gone, but there's something here a glittering green stone where she stood. The willows, I hear them whisper her name Marion. Marion, come back, Marion, come back to me, so I can drop my longbow into your into your quiver and oh my headaches! Oh, why the blessed lady! I swear I'll never seek to drown me melancholy in a cup again. Oh my poor back! I must speak to Little John about leaving me to lie on my quiver all night. But that dream, that woman, and what's this clenched in me own hand? Well, that's my penis. Oh wait, but my other hand. Holy shape! The emerald, now I can see its shape, half a heart. Maybe I still dream. No, not with this pounding in my head. I must be well and truly awake. Somehow I must find Miss Marion and learn the meaning of the emerald, aye, and see if she's as beautiful as I dreamed. Because if she is, I'm going to be having me a mighty hard on, that's for sure. All right, and this is a good place for us to stop. I want to thank you guys for stopping by for our play th our first day complete of Conquest of the Longbow, The Adventures of Robin Hood. I am your host, the RPG Guy. We will see you guys next time. Bye! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please take a moment to check out more episodes from the RPG Guy, Tuesday Night Team Up, and more. And please subscribe. Always support the channels you enjoy watching, and while you're at it, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Keep on gaming hard. See you next time.